Hello friends, so I have this dress I got from the thrift store and it makes me look like a suburban mom who gets excited for brunch and bottomless mimosas, but I really want to look more like I have a sugar daddy, so let's see what we can do. Here's my magical box of sewing stuff and oops, my culture showing, so let's take it that out. And we're just gonna look for my seam ripper, which does exactly what its name is, which rips seams. So we're just going to spend some time and undo a lot of the seams because I'm trying to take apart the layers from each other. They're getting a little complicated. And I got this brown and was like, damn, I should be a surgeon. Look at my friend Bill. He went through the worst divorce this county's ever seen, but you never see him crying. <laughs> okay, so I've got the two layers apart from each other, the dress part, and the other was just the part over it. And then I went to go see my therapist, Violet, and she said, You don't have to prove to people that you're valuable because you are enough, and that's why I pay her the big bucks. So because the material is lightweight and there isn't a lot of extra fabric, I decided to try to do a simple slip dress. Here is my disclaimer that I have no idea what I'm doing. So this is not a tutorial, it's more of a spiritual journey. For the boobies, this will be the part that goes down my chest, this line goes to the side seam, this is the side seam, and then I'm just going to connect these and bam, got a boob shape. I measured out on myself how far I wanted this to go down and got 7 inches, then I drew the Dorito shape on the front of the dress part and cut out 4 of these. I needed some extra fabric so it's thick enough to cover up my nipples. So pin two triangles together with the right sides facing each other and sew up the sides except for the base of the triangle. Make sure you take out the pins as you sew along because they get passive aggressive if you steamroll over them too many times. Grab the dress you've been working on and do not tolerate any type of harassment from men or flies. Better luck next time, bitch. Okay, so flip the booby triangle inside out, and I'm going to do the exact same to the other one because it's 2020 and everybody deserves fair and equal treatment. And then I place them back on the dress to see how they'd look. I'm placing the right sides of the triangles to the right side of the front of the dress and putting it in place. And after sewing it down and flipping the boobies up, it looks pretty good. I was actually pleasantly surprised. Make sure you cut away the excess fabric because you know what to say about excess. It's too much. And then I hem the back of the dress. To make the straps, I need two strips of fabric that are one inch wide and 44 inches long. I didn't have enough fabric lengthwise, so that's why I'm measuring out 22 inches, and I'm just gonna cut four pieces and sew some of them together to make two 44 inch straps. Then I'm going to pin the strap in half to make life a little bit easier. And then sew along the open side. Once you're done, Take a small safety pin and pin it to one end of this little tube and basically what I'm going to do is flip it inside out. So I'm going to shove the fabric back into itself. This will take a little finessing but she'll come around. What a beauty. I'm going to do the same for the other strap and watch TV while I do that. So you want to attach the straps to the boot parts and sew it down, otherwise we'll end up flashing everyone. Then we're going to make loops for the back of the dress for the straps to go into. So here I made another short strap, and as I was halfway through inverting it, the safety pin came out and I questioned my entire life. Then I fixed it and ran into another problem where my safety pin was stuck in the fabric and I ended up having to cut it out. So now I'm just marking where I want the loops to go. I'm doing two inches from the side seam and then adding another inch for the other side of the loop. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Cut the short strap you just made in half to create the loops and position them where we just marked. Here's me trying it on but I'm noticing the boobs are kind of saggy and not fitted well, so mistakes were made. I ended up taking a break to go walking with my sister and ran into a cute cat. Oh, okay, sorry. Bye, buddy. And then we picked up another cute cat. So I went to sleep that night because I prioritized my health and actively reject productivity culture. And then with a fresh mind, I got up, redid the boobs and created a dart in the back of the dress to make it fit better. And then we were good to go. Here's the final dress. And she's definitely not perfect. She has flaws just like everybody else, but I appreciate and love her anyways. A little before and after to show you the transformation. I 
myself a lot of room to get in and out so I have to shimmy, but it's okay because that means I get to dance every time I wear this dress. 